A second attempt to elect to Ohio Representative Jim Jordan as Speaker of the House failed this afternoon. 12 News senior political correspondent Richard Lake spoke with one Mississippi congressman about where to go next following today's vote. Jim Jordan failed to collect the necessary votes needed to be elected Speaker of the House for the second time. For Mississippi Congressman Michael Guest, today doesn't chip away his support for Jordan. I'm going to continue to support Jim as long as he is the conference choice. Uh, if Jim ultimately decides that uh, he is not going to seek this, uh, we will go back to conference as Republicans uh, and, and we will choose our next speaker designate. All three Republican congressmen voted for Jordan in today's vote. The lone Democrat, Benny Thompson, voted for minority leader Hakeem Jeffries. If the 217 votes needed continue to evade Jordan, a possible solution discussed among House Republicans is empowering current Speaker Pro Tem Patrick McHenry. The legislation would give him the authority to deal much of the day-to-day -day legislative business that we deal with in the House of Representatives. We've been paralyzed now for just over two weeks as a body, and until either we elect the Speaker or until we expand the powers of the Speaker Pro Tem, we will remain paralyzed. In the meantime, 22 Republicans voted no on a Jim Jordan speakership today, and the path forward remains unclear. I think with some of the, the no votes, uh, I think that they'll be able to find common ground, uh, but I think that there are others that, w that appear to be very dug in. I think that within the next day or so that uh, Jim may have to really uh, look at, at, at where he is. Uh, does he think that there is a legitimate path for him to reach 217? The next floor vote will be held on Thursday. Reporting in Jackson, Richard Lake, 12 News.